It's your boy Superman 2000 coming from the right chair. Ah! Got good news, man. All right, first of all, I just finished watching Joe Rogan and one of my favorite hunting shows, Meat Eater. I didn't know that Joe Rogan was an avid hunter and he's been hunting for the past, for the past two, three years now. And he hunt deer, wild elk, and moose. So I'm like, wow. Nonetheless, here's the good news. Pat Lundville, the commissioner for the Nevada State Athletic Commission, her appointment has come to an end. Yes! <laughs> yes! I, I, I feel like, right now I feel like Dark Sidious. You know, when uh, he finally converted Anakin after Mace Windu got his hand chopped off and he said, full power, unlimited power, and then shocked him out the window. Sorry, I had a Star Wars reference. But nonetheless, with this, these fines that the commission was handing out was spectacularly crazy. I'm hoping... With her going out and the fact that she's not been reappointed, the commission, the other people on the commission stand aboard will take note of that and that will send a message to them that, hey, listen, this is a growing sport and you can't be doing these unrealistic changes. So I'm happy. I'm ecstatic about that. Now, my next video is going to be about the Jose Aldo negotiations going on with the UFC and how I think it's going to play out. That's my, that's my next video. But in the meantime, this is really good news for me. I'm happy the commission is is, is backing off. They, they, they've been going too crazy. Okay, the marijuana suspension thing, that's just too much, man. Too much. Okay? And no offense. Listen to anybody, but... Okay, there are people who smoke weed just for recreation and that type of stuff. In fact, I grew up in a country where with, with lots of weed. I hope you guys know that. And I grew up seeing it used for medicine, okay? You you, you make tea out of it. You make, uh, what's, what's that called? There's an eye disease that, that, that is a medicine for that's made from marijuana, that uh, oil that actually cures the eye disease. Uh, if you had pneumonia, you boil that, you boil it, with, 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 you boil it with a, a white rat and, and the chemicals in, in, in the marijuana and the white rat work together and you make a soup out of that and you drink that and that, that help, help, help get the mucus out of your chest and free you up. I mean, if you have attention deficit disorder, if you have a, a anxiety attacks, you could actually make a tea out of the weed and drink it or smoke it if you feel like, whichever way you want to go. So I grew up seeing it used as, me as medicine. So I I'm, I'm not opposed to people smoking weed. I, I have no issues with that. But if you're going to smoke weed uh, to calm your nerves or for medical purposes, knock yourself out. All right? If you're going to smoke it recreationally, uh, I'm going to say knock yourself out, but probably at your own risk because you've Fail a drug test, you can't get a job. And if you're like, like uh, since I, for some reason, I don't know if it's because I'm from Jamaica, but I have a high tolerance. I don't smoke that type of stuff uh, anymore. Maybe as I was just a young kid growing up because I had all types of problems uh, focusing and I was just all over the map. So if I had a major exam at school coming up in high school, I would crush it into a pulp and then make a tea or a smoke a joint. Then I'd be as calm as ever focused then I go do my exam so at this stage in my life where you gotta get a job you got a job interviews especially for the kind of work I do yeah that stuff is not gonna work unless I have a prescription for it so I'm not I'm not saying hey go ahead and, and smoke the dope all you like but there's, there's consequences but what I am saying is that in a sport like mixed martial arts where you get damage serious damage I mean all types of head injuries and broken joints and uh, pull and torn ligaments. You're gonna have chronic long-term pain, and I, I, and I suspect that's that's what Nate Diaz was doing, smoking the joint to to to, to deal with chronic long-term pain. Nick, I suspect both Nate and Nick Diaz was doing that, 
and I suspect Nick got his three-year suspension, but I suspect that Nick was smoking the, 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 the stuff to deal with the chronic pain. I mean, yeah, that are taking pain kill us. So if, if, I, if, I, if it was me and I was injured and I had to choose between the, the two, I would go to medical marijuana. And it, the state, I mean, I actually know people who were former military who are actually on medical marijuana, and they say it really, really helps them. So, long story short, I'm just glad this woman is not going to be reappointed. And maybe now the Athletic Commission will start being realistic. Peace out from the fight chair. It's your boy, Superman.